I am going to be rich. You see these pineapples over here? And we now have a cooking pot. Let's place it somewhere under a tree. Okay, I'm gonna put it to the side so it won't block my way a lot. But I'm gonna put this under a tree. And we're gonna craft some classic stews. Hi everyone and welcome back to my only rare paleo pines challenge. Actually... I wonder if I can combine the effects of Classic Stew and Granny's Carrot Soup. I will try and do that. Right now, I can craft a total of 6 Classic Stews. So let's cook everything. Let's wait until our stew bubbles up. There we go. Then, we can have some Granny's Carrot Soup. Let's see how many I can make with my existing ingredients. Oh wow, I can make 10 oh wow okay i'm gonna make 10 then next let's get our dino ready for harvesting okay, make sure that miraculous is with us come on miraculous okay miraculous is all ready <laughs> okay let's try and eat the classic stew first and then let's eat granny's carrot soup <gasps> the effect the stack okay i planted 12 pineapples here let's see how much i will be able to harvest i harvested 24 pineapple seeds and all are two star quality ones let's go i wonder how much that would sell for and not only that but there's also also some over here and that gives me a total of <gasps> These ones are for three star qualities. 28 pineapples. Wow. Okay, we are going to be rich. We do need to buy more, hmm, more carrots. For now, I'll put the pineapples here. Make sure that this little dino has something to plant. They are running out of stamina though, and the effect ran out already. That's fine though. We already harvested everything that we need. Since we harvested a bunch of crops today, we are going to the plaza and hopefully sell this off. And then make sure that we have planted new crops in return. I just wanted to clear out some of the poop that's steadily building before we go and do that. Okay, I can't wait anymore. I'm excited. So, we are going to sell all my pineapple. I'm not sure if I want to sell any of the cooked food that I made. We did get some cakes that we could sell, maybe? Yeah, let's attempt to, to sell that as well. I'm going to be selling my 3-star quality apples and bell peppers. High-star quality bell peppers as well. Let me take a look at my remaining quests. I have some quests that I can complete. 10 herbs, 1 ginger. 10 herbs and 1 ginger. There we go. I also need a pear and an apple for Marlo. An apple and a pear. There we go. Oh yeah, we saw some dreamstones that I haven't claimed just yet. So let's ask Ligaya to come with us. Oh wait, the Lampasiga, no! Oh man. The Lampasigan doesn't want to go with us anymore. Our dino arsenal is full. However, I still want the Lampasigan to come with us. Come on. Oh, it's not the Lampasigan. It's Dapit it Hapon. This is why my dinos doesn't like me. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of all their names, okay? I started the day late and it is almost the evening. I hope that some of the desert traders, specifically Nalrock, is still there. I need to sell my pineapples today. Well, if Nal Nalrock is no longer there, I can always try and sell to Corlan. Corlan doesn't have a lot of money though. Oh, I can sell some of the cooked food with this vendor. Oh my god, they disappeared right in front of my eyes. Did Nalrock do the same? Yeah, I think Nalrock is no longer here. No choice but to try and sell some stuff to Corlan then. It's kind of sad. I'm gonna go to Corlan now, but before we forget, let's get the Dreamstone over here. I know there's still another Dreamstone that 
I haven't obtained it just yet. But for the life of me, I cannot remember where that one is. So let's just get this one. I know that it's also hidden behind a bunch of obstacles. Cannot remember which though. But anyway, let's get this one. I know that Corlon is just in Pebble Plaza, so let's complete the quest with Owen first. I forgot, why did Owen need these ingredients again? All in the wrist. Herbs and ginger. Oh, for Granny's medicine! There you go, Owen. I told you it will take a while. <laughs> yes, here are the herbs and ginger. Wonderful! This should make a nice poultice to ease the swelling in Granny's wrist. The hard part will be getting Granny to wear it. <laughs> I have no doubts about that, Owen. My other quest is with Marlo. He's probably at home in Dapplewood already, but we can sleep over there. Might as well try and take a peek at the dinos. Thank you for being such a hard worker, Corlin. <laughs> I know you cannot pay for everything, but I will try and sell some stuff to you. Oh, he's holding up quite nicely. Also, so that Corlin will not go broke, let us buy some carnivore food from him. Deluxe carnivore food. That took a lot of my money, but give it back to me. Give it back to me. <laughs> okay, even after buying 99 deluxe carnivore food, we still have 16,000 and 11 pineapples remaining. So, let's buy more deluxe carnivore food then. This will help a lot in befriending the remaining carnivores in my ranch. Okay, after all that trading, Corlin has 496 and I have 15,000. And 200 deluxe carnivore food. Not bad, right? Now that we are in Dapplewood, before going to Marlow, let us take a peek at our friend the T-Rex. <laughs> and the Dinochirus. I also need the Dinochirus. I keep forgetting. See, this is why I keep forgetting. They don't give me the colors that I need. Well, it's not like that T-Rex is getting me anything I need anyways. <laughs> it's funny that digging truffles takes away from my dino stamina, but digging the other forageables or taking the other forageables like the mushrooms from the ground doesn't take any stamina from the dino. I'm not complaining though. It would be hard to gather these materials if it also takes away from the dino stamina. Another dino that I should be paying more attention to is... Oh wait! Lucky! Lucky is missing! Oh no! Dapit Hapon doesn't have any more stamina and Lucky is missing. I was about to go to another dino but... Hmm... Should I still go there? I need to see the Baryonics. I guess it would be very hard to navigate here without any sprinter. <laughs> see, I wasn't even trying to go to the region valley. Let's go back. We're gonna sleep over with Marlo today. So I guess we're giving up on trying to find the Baryonyx today. <laughs> or try to look at the Barry. I think that's the dino that I'll get last. <laughs> Just because of how hard it is to navigate Dapplewood at night. And yes, Marlo, I'm about to sleep over with you because of this quest. I brought those crops. The ones from my um snacking. <laughs> Here. These are perfect. Oh, uh, for snacks, yeah. No one is around, Marlo. You could quit the acting. You're gonna use it for your paintings. Guess what? I'm expanding my stock again, and it's all thanks to you. Since we became best friends, I feel like the sky is the limit, you know? Yay, my third... Third, I think? Third best friend. I wonder what kind of new stock, though. Yes, I can't wait to see, but for now, let us stay here. Spend the night. Tap it happen now has their stamina replenished. Let's go. Before going back to the region valley, I want to see if there are any rare or ultra rare dinos around here. And I'm going to start by looking at the micro raptors, which should be around this area. Okay, there we go. The micro raptors. And I think I'm seeing a rare one. Oh, that's a vanilla coffee one. Yes, okay. We have a rare micro raptor. Let's go. Now, just to be sure before I go back home to get some spicy poppins for you. Can you stay still? Okay, not you. Not you. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. It was that one. 
I called the correct one. Okay, thank you. It is a vanilla coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get some spicy poppies for you, okay? Just you wait. That's another one off the list. For some reason, I always find it hard to navigate to where the Baryonics and the Megalor Megalosaurus are hanging out on. It's this pond, right? So they should be around here somewhere. Oh, it's right beside Marlo's house. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'll start looking for you and your nighttime counterpart. You'll no luck on this side though. I forgot to make sure that my small dinos planted all of my pineapple seeds. Oh no, I'm pretty sure they didn't. <laughs> oh well. I have to buy some new seeds though. Hey Agami, what can I do for you? Oh, that smarts. How's that wrist? I can't complain. If I did, nobody would listen anyway. What do you mean? I'm all wrapped up now. Should be fine. Business as usual. As much as I can manage anyway. Now what's this? You made a poultice? Owen did. Oh, you sweet thing. Don't tell anybody, but my wrist has been aching like mad. We know, granny. I used to have the strength of 10 men. Now I'm barely keeping up with seven and a half. <laughs> Thanks, Samara. Here. Help yourself to a pick and mix of garden goodness. Ah, thank you for the seeds. If anyone asks, I'm fine. Sure, sure. Hey, kiddo. Got a wee surprise for my best friend. Agami is now my best friend too. Wow, we are getting lots of best friends for this episode. I expanded my stock again. Enjoy the new seeds. I will. Glad to hear it. Well, let's see. Agami now has new stock. Like watermelon uh okay okay buying watermelon from granny will give us a discount because we are pals compared to buying it from the seed seller in the desert oh i almost forgot what i was here for i wanted to buy more spring onion seeds yes <laughs> i'm gonna buy 36 bye granny thank you bye bestie <laughs> And lucky, here you are. Hi. Wait, we did not need spring onion seeds. We needed carrot seeds. Oh. <laughs> no matter. No matter. Let's just go back out there again. <laughs> carrot seeds. Sheesh. And because of that, I'm just I'm just gonna hoard a bunch of carrots. I'm gonna hoard 60 carrots. I don't run out of it anymore. <laughs> You know what? Let's also buy some potato seeds, but only 24 potato seeds. There we go. I still have a ton of money left, so that should be alright. I think there is one dino that doesn't have a pen yet. Oh no, everyone has a pen. I thought my Pinacosaurus didn't have a pen just yet. But that's good, that's good. Okay, before we head back out to the forest, let's make sure that our crops are well tended to. And that we have enough seeds for everything. Oh, my crops are definitely not well tended to because I haven't watered them yet. Sheesh. I need you, Agua. My small dinos still don't have a lot of stamina, huh? It's fine, I'll let them work the fields until they have enough stamina. I have to not mind the uneven growth of plants until they have enough stamina for it. I think these pineapples are almost fully grown too. Just a matter of time. Oh, we also have some pineapples ready for harvest back here. Nice. Some of the chilies are also ready for harvest. Mm, I think I might eat one plastic stew for all of these harvests. If anything, it's for the pineapple. <laughs> I get, what, 700 for each pineapple? So it's totally worth it. So just the classic stew. I will not be eating granny's carrot soup this time. That harvest got us a lot of chili for today. We now have 280. Wow. I should start selling these. Just the 57 chilies. And before we forget, let's get some spicy poppins and some spicy food with us. Chili, of course. I guess I want to go to the desert first to sell something to Nalrock. 
Maybe see what Avery has for us. If he has anything. After that, we can go back to the forest to get our micro raptor. And of course, Nalrok is not here. <laughs> That's fine. At least we can finish some quests with Orani. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, we can start buying some of the decorations. <laughs> I mean, we are earning some money already. So, yeah. Maybe I can splurge a little bit. 2,770 for a bunch of decorations. That's fine. We'll get back the money. The next things that I need to buy are actually the uh, bats from Mary. I want to add some bats. I need to buy some cloth from Orani, but I don't have any space. So I'm just gonna sell the fiber, extra fiber that I have, and then let's buy 10 white cloth for Owen. I think I can complete Artist Owen quest before heading to the forest. Let's do that. Three beets and three bell peppers. Dapit Happen is running out of stamina and I cannot quite remember where Lucky is. But I can always feed Dapit Happen with some spicy poppin in order to replenish its stamina. I might want to buy more spicy poppins though. But first things first. Let's see what will happen with Owen's dabble with painting. <laughs> Myra, I've been so caught up in work that I forgot to ask about sourcing art supplies. Are you still searching? Here you go. Perfect. Oh, before you go, let me give you the rest of my leftover woodworking supplies. And a little something extra for your patience. Some bell peppers and wood. And strawberry. Okay, I'll take the strawberries, Owen. So I guess we'd have to wait a few days until we can find out why Owen doesn't want to be an artist anymore. Because I'm pretty sure he'll give up. He just wants to be a dino researcher, that's all. <laughs> Since we are running out of spicy poppins, I'm just gonna buy three more. Oh, I'm not being careful with my money anymore. <laughs> I should though, I should. I definitely should. Well, Dapit Hapon needs some uh, snack. They've been a good steed so far, so yeah. <laughs> it was worth paying 200 for that poppin, Dapit Hapon. You're a good dino. Now, where that's rare micro raptor? Show yourself. Wait, it's gone? Where's the other one? Come on, you were here a second ago. Oh, here you go. Don't hide from me. Spicy puppies are quite expensive and the dark green bar is quite wide. So I think we can attempt to place it on the dark green bars <laughs> before giving a pop in. Even though this process might take a little back and forth, it's fine. We can be patient. We have lots of chilies, remember? There we go. I think that's on the dark green bar. <laughs> the poppies really look so weird with the small dinos. Look, like, look how small they are compared to the poppin. <laughs> I'm gonna name this dino Balingit, which means tiny one. It is kind of an informal term for tiny because the other dino, my other dino, Sitakosaurus, is called Liit, which also means tiny, and Bulingit is like um, a cutesy term for that. Alright, just four more dinos remaining. And I guess we could take a look at the Baryonyx before going home. I'm gonna try and make my way over to its area. Oh, I'm failing already. That is definitely not the way. <laughs> okay, here. They should be around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. It appears in the late afternoon. Not a rare one though. I think we should help this little dino for today. <laughs> okay, let me plant the rest of the fine apples for you, little dino. Also, I need to water it again because for some reason I accidentally shoveled up the ground here. <laughs> Oh, since we're already helping them today, might as well plant the spring onions over here. Or carrots. We are going to spend the rest of the night trying to make the dinos happy. Rosas and the Perlas are taking a while before they become helpers, huh? I need you both as helpers, come on. I also want to start clearing this area again because I want to keep this area for all my desert dinos. Eventually, I'm gonna transfer my desert dinos here and decorate it with a desert-themed one. 
It's going to take a lot of effort in order to transfer all my dinos here and a lot of fence and fence gates. But I think we can achieve it, especially now that we have a good source of money. The other question is where to put my new Microraptor. We have a small dreamstone for it, but we need... Hmm. Oh, I know why this dino is not happy. Oh my god, I placed them with a herbivore. This one is not a herbivore, right? Kawawa. Kawawa is a herbivore. They are really kawawa with me. Oh no. They are with Ayusip, who is a carnivore. <laughs> that is... OMG, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, who do I place you with then? I need to place them with a protoceratops. Okay. My protoceratops is over here. Placed with this random dinos over here. Okay, now you're gonna get a new home. And Kawawa's roommate is gonna get kicked out of here. I don't know where I'm gonna place that dino though. But this is your new home, Maharlika. And don't worry, I'm gonna change your food. Yes, I know that's not what you want. I'm gonna be putting some deluxe herbivore food for you both. Even though your pen is gonna be switched over to the other side anyways. There you go. You should be happier now, right? I only need to get the Velociraptor out of here. If I can find them... Okay, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm gonna switch them over somewhere else. I don't know where, though. Oh, I can place them with the Utahraptor. That's a carnivore. The Utahraptor and the Dilo are carnivores. I can place the Velociraptor with them. Oh, I don't have a lot of fence and fence gates. I was thinking that that is going to be the first pen in my desert area. The ones for the Dilophosaurus, Utahraptor, and Velociraptor. I don't think I have enough materials for that area. And it's midnight. Okay, I'll do that tomorrow. For now, I think my dinos need some rest. Thankfully, it's raining. I don't need to water my crops. <gasps> some of my pineapples are also ready for harvest. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna need Lucky in order to start transferring our dinos. Thankfully, our Velociraptor is over here. Follow me, you will have a new home soon enough. Okay, you two as well. I'm gonna have to remove your fence over here. These three dinos need a minimum of 62 square meters. This should be big enough for them. Okay, 70 square meter pen. This should be enough for the three of them. This is going to be our new home. And of course, we are going to give you some desert decorations. But let's not forget to tell them this is your home first. Maharlika. Oh no, not Maharlika. Perlas, Rosas, and Ayusip. Okay, you all have a new home. I'm gonna give you your trough so you don't get angry at me. It's gonna have some delicious deluxe carnivore food for you. They are starting to be content about their pen, but we are still missing a few stuff. Of course, I'm gonna turn this into a desert biome for you all. There you go. What a great pen. Okay, y'all better be helpers tomorrow, okay? I put a lot of effort on your pen. And that is the start of the desert area here. <laughs> but for now, we are going to focus on other stuff like looking for more dinos. And I guess giving something to Marlo. It's their budding day today. One of my crops need the weeding and some of my pineapples are ready for harvest. Let's also take care of those. Even though there's only a few pineapple seeds, this time I'm gonna eat both the classic stew and the carrot soup. I do think that the added quality adds a lot of money or a lot of profit that we need. 
So even though there's only a few left for harvest, we're still using both of the dishes this time around. And luckily, some of the wheat are also ready for harvest. Come on, Miraculous, you have to hurry up before my buff disappears. Come on, let's go, let's go. Harvest this wheat for me. All right, thank you, Miraculous. We got a bunch of harvest. Nice. 85 wheat. <laughs> Good job. And we have three star pineapples. Oh, I've been neglecting my other dinos. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough room for all your poop. Okay, you have to wait for a bit. First, I have to make sure that everyone is fed, okay? We might let go of Penili, but I still gave them some deluxe carnivore food. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> You know what? I'll keep them until I am required to let go of them. It's Marlo's birthday, so we should give him something. I'm gonna give him a cherry cake. I think Marlo is already our best friend though. Yeah, they're already our best friend. Oh, we can still become BFFs. Look at that. I am BFFs with Owen and Mary. I didn't know there was something more after best friends. I don't think I get anything more from them though. Since Marlo is at home in Dapplewood, I'm gonna go to the desert first in order to try and sell my stuff there. Hopefully Corlin is over there today. What are you doing out here? Zara, I was just contemplating the first time we met. What trust you placed in me to help me restore this beauty? At the time, I was bitterly disappointed in the outcomes of my research. With your help, I was able to revitalize my work. Now I return here. I can see that completing that research was not an ending, but the start of something better. That's what I was trying to tell you. For it allowed me to meet you, and through you, I have created a whole new network of friends. I used to think people were bored by history, but you have helped me to make it engaging. Now, this archway will lie for millennia more. We are not just restoring the past, we are part of it. Isn't that wonderful? I would like to mark our work, if I may, by presenting you with a gift. Please. Take this orange tree, may it bring a lifetime of sweetness to you and your descendants. And if you should ever wish to share a cake or another discovery, you know where to find me. We solved the mystery of the parasaurs, now we must find more to solve. There's a whole world left to discover. Thank you for this orange sprout! I wonder what triggered this cutscene though, or this dialogue. I have finished the mystery of the parasaurs for a long time, so I'm not sure what triggered that one. Why is Gnarl Rock never here? What the heck? I need to start buying some paths. Oh, it's gonna cost me a lot of money, huh? <laughs> I kinda want the ceramic path for the desert theme or the stone path. I'm not sure which one I wanna use. So let me just buy 50 of each. Oh, this is gonna cost me. You know what? I'm just gonna buy dirt path as well. Just so I can play around with them. Sadly, we didn't get what we need from this area. It doesn't have Nalra. Where are you, Nalra? I guess we have to go to Carlin again. Hmm. Carlin wasn't even able to buy all of the normal pineapples from me. <laughs> ah, that's sad. It's okay. We can wait for Nalra tomorrow. Nalra is going to be here tomorrow, I'm sure. Now, you know I'm not one for gossip or getting all up in anyone's grill, but I can't be the only one who's noticed that Mary and Owen still ain't made up. I've noticed I'm BFFs with both of them. They've definitely started to miss each other's talents, even if they haven't said so. Seen Mary flubbering with her nose, ain't ya? And Owen stopping in circles like a headless herbivore. They ain't realized they need the other one yet, that's all. However, they don't call me Granny Genius for nothing. Remember how much the two of them flipped their flops when you came home with a brand new desert dino? Why, they forgot everything showed us their own names. Now, just imagine what would happen if you give them a chance to meet a rare dinosaur up close. Brilliant. I think you mean, thanks, Granny Genius. Like everyone says, surely you've heard. If you're on board with this plan, befriend a rare dino and invite them to your ranch. Nothing gets those two talking like they're crazy for our feathered and scaly friends. Well, I only have four dinos that I need to befriend, so hopefully one of them shows up. <laughs> I do think I have a, I still have a total of four dreamstones remaining. 
I'd have to check. But our priority would be the T-Rex, the Megalosaur, the Baryonyx, or the Dinocyrus. I can take a peek here, see if we have something that we can befriend today. While also greeting Marlo a happy birthday. I think this dino hates me. Same with the T-Rex. Yeah, you both hate me. <laughs> Maligayang kaarawan, Marlo. Happy birthday. It's one of my favorite days of the year. A day to appreciate trees is a day made for me. After all, what kind of woodsman would I be if I didn't look after my tree? What would you like to do? I would like to give you a gift. Here, take this cake. You really didn't have to cook me anything, but it does smell great. Thank you. So glad you could make it. I really appreciate it. No worries, Marlo. Don't mind me just thinking. Thinking about what? Do, do you like my sculptures? You're a great artist. You do? Really? That's, that's really nice to hear. Thanks for being honest, Myra. I was nervous to ask you that, but that wasn't so bad. Piven says I need to be fit out to fit in, whatever that means. They suggested having an art show so everyone can see my work. What do you think? Go for it! Yeah? I guess one of us is excited. I'm terrified. That's perfectly normal and understandable, Marlo. But I am getting kind of tired of making this at night and sticking them out of the house. Maybe you can help me out. Would you be able to deliver some invites? Of course. It's been kind of fun to be a mystery. I guess now I find out if I really am a good artist. Hear me, an artist. Wow. Marlo the artist. Not a bad drink to it, huh? Certainly not. I would go and give these invites to everyone, Marlo. With you, I know I have a friend for life, Myra. That kind of friendship deserves an extra special discount at my shop. You've encouraged me to become my best self, you know? Is this what it means to be BFFs with Marlo? More discount? Nice. I hope this goes some way to repaying that. Thanks. Well, no, thank you. I do need more fences, so that would be a huge help for me, Marlo. <laughs> huge help. Unfortunately, I did not find a rare dino today, so Mary and Owen will have to wait. It's a childish fight anyways. <laughs> Maybe I can go back here during the night to see if the Baryonyx is a rare one. But for now, we are going back home. We have some work to do at the ranch. Since my desert dinos are complete anyways, I don't see why I should not transfer them all to that side. So let's start doing that. Starting from the dinos here at the center. I know I just started moving you all, but I'm gonna move you again. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Let's take Maharlika and Kawawa first. And of course, it's the evening. I could have gone to Marlo now. Hey. Not Marlo. I could have gone to the Baryonyx now. Maybe after this. Maharlika and Kawawa just need a small pen. 25 plus 12. That's just 37. I think we can put them at the small corner in front of the desert area. 37 square meters. So somewhere around here. Let's see if we can fit them here. I might need to extend it a little bit weirdly like this. <laughs> Let's see if this is 37 square meters indeed. 36 square meters? Okay, I need more. A little bit more. It's gonna look so weird though. Hmm. I guess it's fine. I can just put a decoration here so that the corner doesn't look too awful there. Also, let's not forget to put a storage box in this area. I'm gonna put it right here. This is for Kawawa. And this is for Maharlika. Of course, you have to make sure that they have a trough filled with deluxe food. I will also make sure to transform their biome. Let's give a couch, um, a cactus at the very far end, and a bush at the right at near the end too. Can I? No, it'll look weird. I'm just gonna put the bush right here beside their beside their trough. Oh, I cannot place it right beside it. Just at the corner then? Alright. You're happy, right? Protoceratops? Harnika would love more pen mates. What the heck? Oh, you are not a... Oh man, this is not a pack dino. They are a herd dino. 
Let's see. Can we interchange them with Ayusib? Ayusib is a pack dino. Oh, okay. We can interchange them. Ayusib seems to be always sleeping, huh? <laughs> okay, stay here. And then Maharlika can stay at this area. Oh, no. Ayusip is a carnivore and Maharlika is a herbivore. So we should not interchange them. I guess the only way to have enough companions for our protoceratops is to either mix them with a dino from another area or just get another protoceratops if I can. Okay, I'm gonna take you back here. That was a mistake. <laughs> you stay here, like always. Yes. I'm gonna try and find another rare protoceratops. Anyway, I wanna see how this pathing will look over here. Will I be able to remove the pathing easily though? That's another question. I'm just gonna put the one for now. Ah, uh, I need to shovel it up if ever. I can always expand their pen a little bit more to the side so that the path will be narrower. And that will have more space in that area. But for now, I wanted to see the baryonyx. Let's head on back to the desert. Not desert. Uh, let's head on back over to the forest. Oh, unfortunately, this is a rust baryonyx. Oh, well, I have to sleep over with Marlow again. But that's it for this episode. Next episode, I am hoping to finish transferring all my di desert dinos to that specific area and start decorating it a little bit and hopefully get another rare dino. Good progress for today though. So thank you so much for watching and see you all on the next episode. Goodbye for now.